I mainly work with guys who have put finding love in their life the biggest thing for them over everything else. Their purpose, their vision, even the love for their kids, their job, themselves. They put that as number one. If they can find love in their life and they can find that perfect woman, that dream girl, or they can turn that woman they have into that, then they will be happy. They'll feel like everything else will just shake itself out. They'll have love. They'll have everything they want. Problem is, is it's backwards thinking. And I made the same mistake. That's how I know. Back in 2015, I was betrayed. I was cheated on. It's because I did this thing. It's like I did not value myself enough to go after what I truly wanted. I was too afraid to get out there and expose myself. Once I found that out, once I decided, okay, well, whatever happens to be, this is what I'm going after. I'm going after this outside of a relationship context, outside of women. You as a man will never actually be fulfilled once you get what you think you want with love. Because what will happen is you'll say, oh, this thing is handled. This thing in my life is handled and it's great and it does give me energy. But now what? Now what am I going to do? And then the conversation of purpose and vision start to come into the picture. But the problem is when you make your wife your life, you end up with nothing. You make her your purpose, then you forget yourself. You forget who you are. You forget where you're going. And what ends up happening is because of that, she can't really fall under the power of your conviction. She can't trust that you're taking the relationship anywhere. And because of that, because you're so enamored with her emotional state from one moment to the next, she gets upset and then you are like, oh no, how do I fix this? Oh my God. She's like, he's not doing anything. All he is is obsessed with me. And that's not very respectable. That's not a powerful man. For her, a guy who's powerful, that's attractive, he allows her to be how she is, but then he's not trying to be all up around trying to make her feel better all the time. He gives her the space and the respect that she can handle her own business, treats her like a grown ass woman. And he's not so wrapped up around what she's doing because he's afraid she's going to leave him all the time. Oftentimes, what ends up happening is a guy who's powerful, and this is the other side of the trap, the guy who's powerful is going towards his vision so much that he forgets his relationship. And then she's like, why am I even here? What's the whole point of this? I'm just by myself. I'm abandoned by my man. Now that's the other side of it. That's going too far in the other direction. All healthy things, there's a middle ground. The problem with most men is society is teaching them to go after whatever women want. Like, women are the powerful sex. Go do whatever they want. If you give them everything they want, they may take some time out of their day to give you some love and some sex, which is a bullshit way of thinking. I mean, do you want to live like that? No. Most men would rather have women throwing themselves at them, initiating the intimacy. And when you're doing the right things, your woman will initiate the intimacy most of the time. Mine does. Is yours? Have you ever been in a situation like that? I'll show you how to do it.